Should be fun. Should be an entertaining game. Here's the tip. We were all sitting on the couch in the living room watching the game. Slices off to the right into the lane. Leaves it for a dunk by Bahannon. That's a good way to start it. I remember the play where it happened. Cook sends the pass to the right wing. There's a three on the way. Uh-oh, and we got an injured player. Kevin Ware is down. I just saw the guys on the bench just falling down, jumping up and down, uh, turning around, laying down. I got really lightheaded, just got sick. I ran outside, had to get away from it. Two years after his right shin bone virtually snapped in two, Kevin Ware's leg has recovered. His mind has needed more time. I rub it sometimes just to remind myself of some of the stuff I've been through. It happened, let's get over it, let's move on. But I kind of felt like whoever saw me never got over it. Ware was once known as a dunker, recruited out of his Atlanta high school by everyone from Louisville to his small hometown college, Georgia State. I definitely was glad to get the chance to play at Louisville. Trying to get every steal I can, every rebound I can, um, covering for anybody that made a mistake on defense. But after he was injured on the biggest stage possible, Ware became an unexpected celebrity. I never would have thought me being a superstar would come from me breaking my leg. People coming up to me wanting to take pictures in between meals. I couldn't walk around the mall without a mob of people behind me. I was just so anxious to get back on the court. I cannot believe he's back this quickly, honestly. You liked seeing him back on the court, but it made you nervous. I remember he wasn't he wasn't getting his, like as much playing time as he was before. I rushed myself too much, you know, and as the season went on, I remember getting kicked in it and all the callus and stuff started swelling up. The coach wanted to shut me down after that. If he red shirts, you gotta apply for it. Obviously he's you know, <laughs> no he'd get it more than probably any person in America. If I'm laying wrong, everybody's just over me, like, hey, you okay? Like, fine, <laughs> you know? But I kind of feel like because they couldn't get over that, they couldn't coach me. So after playing only nine games in the 2013-14 season, Ware decided to transfer home to Georgia State. When I did leave, that's probably one of the first times I did cry after my injury, because I've been holding it in for so long. Ware began the season as Georgia State's sixth man but was tentative at times, afraid to go up and dunk the way he used to. He needed a calling, and at the end of January, he heard about the Louisville fan, six foot eight McDonald's All-American candidate, Bronson Kessinger. I was gonna dunk it, and uh, before I even got to the rim, I felt arms in my back, and uh, I felt a shove. I knew something bad happened as soon as it did, and that was the first thing I thought of, Kevin Ware. We want to send our thoughts out to Corden Central's Bronson Kessinger, who broke his leg in a game tonight at Salem. Coach told me about it first, saying it's a pretty good kid out of Indiana that's going to Indiana State, and he just had a bad injury similar to yours. And his left leg it was like, oh man, you know, I gotta, I definitely gotta reach out to him. Woke up one morning, and I had, I had a text on my phone from a weird number. Bronson, how you doing, man? It's Kevin Ware. Uh, he said, no way. I swear, LOL, what's going on? All right, I'm just gonna trust you, LOL, nothing. Must just laying on the couch using all different kind of pain pills, getting old. LOL, you and me both. Really helped me. Uh, just knowing that he's with me, him let me know what, what to expect. Why does that make you emotional? he's with me. He's not too good. He's not too famous to talk to somebody like me. He is a hero. I hope one day I can help people like he's helped me. Just weeks after he and Kessinger connected, Ware moved into Georgia State's starting lineup. Two years after his shin bone virtually snapped in two, his leg has recovered, and now so has his mind. It's just about staying positive and knowing you can do it. You know, I kind of feel like when I'm out here on the court now, it's like, what haven't you been through? 
I would never take back what happened. You know, it's matured me and made me a better person today.